everyone, and welcome to a game of World of Warships. Today it's once again me playing, and I'm in the Minotaur. 10 British Cruiser. I'm on the map mountain range in a free point domination game, and well, I am in a division with a Des Moines and a Daring, so we are a pretty strong division to take some caps. Not the best map for cruisers, I suppose. But hey, we went here towards the center in the beginning. In order to take this cap, I have smoke, so the Des Moines and myself, we should be pretty okay here. Uh, now I'm deploying the smoke and we are going to try to farm that sound. It has might have ventured a little bit too close. Now it looks like we didn't need radar to take the center cap. And our team is off to a pretty decent start. Now we have a destroyer near the A-cap who is not going in for some reason. I'm not sure, I don't see any radar over there. Oh no, wait, there is a Salem over there. Now Salem doesn't have the best range, so if it stay, if he stayed like to the far north, I think he would have easily contested that cap, but you know. Who knows. Now there is a Seattle here at the C-cap, so the Yugomo. I mean the Yugomo is hiding behind an island, so he should be fine. And meanwhile, I'm just raining down shares at the sound. Of course, if you have a cruiser that's angling and sailing away, your Minotaur will be pretty disappointed. And there are some torpedoes coming my way now. Of course, I have hydro running, something that you want to do when you are in your smoke. And let's see if I can find that gap. Well, unfortunately, though, I... Well, I made the gap, but I kind of... Uh, bumped into my division right here and I might have been the reason why he took a torpedo hit. Didn't hurt too much. So I, I guess I feel mildly sorry for it, but you know. It happened. Now it's debatable if firing my guns here is a good thing or not. I should probably just try to Stay in concealment here. Smoke is almost disappearing, so me getting back in is not going to happen. But the next smoke will be ready soon, and now it remains to be seen where we want to deploy that smoke. Now the A-cap seems to be pretty overrun. We have some ships here, but they are all coming our way. The C-cap, our team is pretty aggressive there. We unfortunately lost the destroyer we had in there. But we have plenty of other ships pushing hard. They have radar with them. So they should be okay. Still, it seems like supporting C... Well, supporting C seemed like the right option. But right now we have a gearing coming here. So new priorities defend the center against the gearing. I mean, Des Moines and Minotaur. And well, our daring here is... Probably coming back now and helping. So yeah, this should work quite nicely. Now I have to be careful. The Minotaur is basically a citadel wrapped in paper. And if somebody even thinks about shooting you, you are just going to explode. So if somebody is actually shooting you, you might want to consider... Uh, some defensive meshes. Now I'm deploying a new smoke screen here for us so that we can sit and shoot. I'm helping my Demoin slow down because I'm a nice guy to ensure that he stops inside this smoke. Now I don't have hydro running just yet but it's almost ready again. The gearing has retreated for now it seems like but we now have again a Demoin here inside a smoke screen and myself so any attempt or for any attempt by enemy destroyers to take the B cap should be built swiftly and there is the gearing again and yeah, that gearing might be in for a rude awakening now i'm popping my hydro here and i think uh, wiper in the daring has hydro going as well so i might not have needed it but you know better safe than sorry i suppose Now, it's debatable if it's a good choice to leave my smoke here because I'm exposing myself. I mean, there are ships 
all around me. Now the ships here at the A cap should be blocked by this monstrous island. But there are some ships here in the south that could potentially fire at me. But right now I really want to get rid of those destroyers. So my plan is, well that's one taken care of, to get a bit closer with my hydro and make sure those destroyers are taken care of. So I took a little bit of hit there from the south. It's definitely something to keep in mind. I'm going for some blind torpedoes in there and at this point I really just want to get close enough and see if I can't hydro them. And hey, it looks like that worked out. There are some torpedoes coming towards me here. And well, it looks like Viper dealt with this destroyer. I didn't even have to expose myself by shooting. And the Minotaur just really has awesome concealment. Now it's looking decent for our team. We are two ships ahead right now. Each side has one cap. The sea cap is still not taken by anyone, but I feel like our team has the better position. Grab that one. Now North Carolina seems to be coming this way, so I'm launching some more torpedoes towards him. Although it looks like I might be getting a hit with the current torpedoes, and considering that the North Carolina is low and the amount of ships we have here, that North Carolina is going down. Now we still don't have to see. For some reason, all the ships we had at the sea cap came towards the center, and now they are all uh, throwing a big party and cuddling. Well, I guess I'm not one to judge, but I will go towards the sea cap and let's see if we can take that. Now all the ships we have here should be quite enough to deal with uh, the Hipper and the Salem that are coming this way, like we have all our battleships here. And well, I'm deploying some smoke here, helping out my Des Moines. And basically it's just an opportunity to farm some ships. So I could have just continued towards the sea cap, but there is a sow here that's well a pretty tasty target and there was an iron sauce and hey it looks like we don't really have spotting. So unfortunately our daring here is in the north and he's well I guess he was kind of playing with the tipper in Salem there. But he might just be coming this way right now, and he will probably just go take the sea cap soon. And look at that, I found a Kitakase. Now Hydro is almost ready again, and that will be important. Spotting that Kitakase means he might have... Well, I mean that Kitakase is aware of this smoke. He might have been torpedoing this way, and indeed he has. But it looks like I can dodge those quite easily. So the Des Moines can still use the smoke and farm some ships. Meanwhile, I will try to stop Itakase from making a sea cap and my daring is on the way to support me. Now this Alsace here is a bit of a problem. It looks like he's aggressively pushing in and that's a big deal because I can't really angle the way I want to right here. I don't have a smoke ready. I'm even burning currently, which increases my concealment. So I need this Alsace to sail somewhere where he can't shoot me. And that's exactly what the Alsace is doing. So he is cooperating quite nicely. If he were stopping here, I would be in some immense trouble. Although I'm trying to get this island to help me too, but I don't need it. But the Alsace has blocked himself. And I got away with just a few scratches. Now, ship-wise, it's not going so well. We've lost quite a few ships here in the center. We still have the Shimakaze in the 1-2 line. And it looks like there is a Hippo. I mean, the Shimakaze seems to be waiting for an opportunity to take the A-cap. But I mean... He's a torpedo boat, he might have been more suited just uh, helping us here at the B cap and going for those battleships. Who knows. Now I'm trying to sink this Kitakase, unfortunately my Hydro ran out, so I'm not 
so I won't be able to spot any incoming torpedoes in time. Now my plan here is drop into concealment, hide behind this island and just make sure we are getting this cap. Seems like a good idea, we are one ship behind right now. And my trusty daring here has found the Kitakase. Not sure if I'll be getting any shots in, but that's no longer necessary, the daring will deal with that. Fine. And now we can take this cap. And then it's probably time to defend the center once more. And look at that, there are torpedoes. But I'm quite fine here. Now oh, it looks like Asylum is taking the B-cap, considering how close we have a Musashi, that Musashi might be able to deal with something. But then again, that Musashi might also just be surrounded by enemies. Now with the Missouri pushing this way into A, maybe the Chimakase can finally get some useful torpedoes and farm that Missouri or something. If he can farm the Missouri and the Hippo leaves, then he could actually grab A. Now there is a Salem capping B. We currently don't have wish, but even if we had, it's not like anyone has shots. Well, I might, I guess. We will see. And there is this Alsace still around. Now it looks like the Alsace is going for the sea cap. We will have to deal with this Alsace. And we will have to be careful not to get caught between the Salem and the Alsace. The Musashi dealt with the Hippo, that's nice. Now let's hope that those guys can also deal with the Missouri. The Salem is coming around and hunting the Musashi. So yeah. Now might be a good opportunity to hunt down this Alsace and then see what we can do to help the rest of our team. It's still a pretty close battle. We are currently one ship ahead. Oh yeah, the Musashi is down. So we are equal on ships. We are behind on points, it looks like. But Daring is entering the B cap quite soon and I'm a little bit too close. I get detected here. The Alsace will start shooting me. So I have to deploy a smoke here. I mean, as I said, the Minotaur is basically a citadel wrapped in paper. If anyone shoots you, you expect to explode. And you're always pleasantly surprised if they aren't outright killing you. So I deployed my last smoke here. I'm getting a little bit of damage in, but a little bit of damage is all I'm getting. So unfortunately, the RSS is dodging those torpedoes. He didn't wait around here, but maybe I can get some torpedoes on the other side, so those are fired blindly. I mean, I know where the Alsace is going, I'm not sure if he will sail into those or not, but let's give it a try. So, the Shimakase traded with the Missouri, it looks like. So, I guess that's an okay trade for us. It took at least care of one raider and a battleship there. So it's me and Wiper against a Salem and an Alsace. And we took back the cap advantage. We have just a tiny lead here that Salem will be coming back. I'm out of smokes. I still have a Hydro left that won't be of much use. And I still have three heals left. Probably aren't going to be able to use those. So Salem coming this way. Salem is angled and... Oh, I got one torpedo hit in, that's quite nice. So no reason to attack the Salem right here, I mean he is angled. I'm using my Hydro because it might just help spot the Alsace through this island if he gets close enough. It looks like he isn't. And was he... F yeah, he, is f he seems to be flooding. Well, no longer I guess. That's unfortunate. Now that Alsace is on pretty low hit points. What I want to do is I want to get a few shots on and then immediately disappear behind this island. And the Alsace guns aren't entirely pointing my way. He is on pretty low health, so I should be able to farm him before he can engage me. And that's exactly what happened. Meanwhile, it looks like one torpedo on the Salem connected. Unfortunately, I'm currently broadside to this guy and he is shooting armor piercing. 
So I got an angle immediately. And now it's two against one. And I'm not sure if the Salem will focus me or the Daring. Wait, is my Daring in smoke? Yes, he's in smoke. So Daring is safe. He can just get in and help out with some damage here. And now I have to be careful because I'm in a pretty vulnerable ship and the Salem has pretty good armor piercing, so I can't show too much off my side. Now my torpedoes are tempting. If I get close enough, I could use those torpedoes. We will see if it comes down to that. Now I'm just popping a heal here, getting some of my hit points back. I'm also on fire, so that heal should compensate that quite nicely. And for some reason, the Moines just decides to go completely broadside here. I don't know why. But I'm happily farming citadels. I won't need torpedoes for this. I don't need to expose myself. I just farm citadels an and win. Cruiser. Oh, here we are with the results. Earned uh, myself 2,470 base experience. And you know, I thought it was a nice battle. It was quite close and it had somewhat of an exciting ending. I earned a confederate. I managed to sink three enemies. Score 132,000 points of damage. Not the most impressive results right here. But still, I thought it was an interesting game in the Minotaur. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys next time.